It's Umsum time! What if sugar cane disappeared? No problem. I don't eat sugar. Oh, <laughs> Umsum. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit Umsum.com. Firstly, if sugar cane disappeared, people who <gasps> crave sugary foods <laughs> would be the saddest of the lot. Mm. Secondly, if sugarcane disappeared, huh? lovers of sugarcane juice would be one sad lot. Mm. Thirdly, jaggery is considered as a healthy alternative to sugar. <laughs> if sugarcane disappeared, huh? people who want to lose weight would be extremely disappointed. Mm. Fourthly, if sugarcane disappeared, huh? sugarcane farmers may have to look for a new profession. Mm. Lastly, elephants love to eat sugarcane. If sugarcane disappeared, Elephants would be very sad indeed. Mm. <laughs> Why do elephants huh? have big ears? To fly! <laughs> Not at all. Ears basically help to hear. Mm. Besides this, big ears of an elephant also help it to regulate its body temperature. But how can ears help to regulate body temperature? In living beings like elephants, blood supplies heat to oh. all parts of the body, thus helping it to maintain the body temperature. <sighs> However, due to metabolic activities or hot climate, oh. sometimes heat in the blood can increase, huh? thus increasing <laughs> the body temperature of the elephant. Now, an elephant's big ears are filled with blood vessels oh. which are very close to the surface of the skin. Hence, when blood having more amount of heat flows through the ears of the elephant, the heat from the blood <laughs> escapes into the atmosphere, cooling the blood and in turn cooling the elephant. <laughs> Why do pop rocks pop? Because huh? they have springs in their legs. <laughs> nah. Pop rocks are tiny candy crystals. Candies are usually made using sugar, water, corn syrup, various flavorings, etc. Initially, all these ingredients are mixed together. The resulting solution is heated until most of the water boils oh. off and we are left with a thick, sticky syrup. Usually, this syrup is poured in molds and allowed to cool and harden to make candies. However, to make pop rocks, highly pressurized carbon dioxide gas is added to the syrup and then it is cooled to subsequently form a hard candy. This results in the formation of small bubbles of pressurized carbon dioxide oh. trapped inside the candy. Now, when we put this candy in our mouth, our saliva dissolves the candy. As a result, the highly pressurized carbon dioxide escapes from the bubbles with a pop. Hmm. Why do old books smell so good? Because <laughs> books secretly apply perfume. No. Oh. Smell of old books is basically because of paper and ink in <laughs> those books. Paper is primarily made up of wood. Wood is made up of organic compounds like cellulose and lignin. Over the years, these compounds react to heat, light, and moisture and begin oh. to break down, releasing VOCs. VOCs means vanilla orange cakes, right? Nah. VOCs stand for volatile organic compounds. These compounds easily vaporize and mix in the air, thus forming the smell of old books. Now, there are different types of VOCs. A volatile organic compound called vanillin gives vanilla-like smell. Another VOC, benzaldehyde, gives almond-like smell. Ethylbenzene gives a sweet smell. In short, the combination of various compounds makes old books smell so good. Mm. Why do people go bald? How would I know? All right, I'll explain. Huh? Our hair grows from hair follicles. We have about 100,000 <laughs> hairs on our head. Every day, we usually lose about 100 oh. hairs. If new hairs don't start growing from those places, then we are probably balding. Medical term for baldness is alopecia. Oh, its spelling is so complicated. One of the main reasons for balding is hormones. We have a hormone called testosterone. In our body, testosterone is converted into dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. Now, some people's hair follicles are highly sensitive to dihydrotestosterone. Hence, their hair follicles begin to shrink and their oh. hairs get thinner and thinner. Hmm. <laughs> what is deja vu? Huh? It is a magical power. Nah. Deja vu is a French term, which literally means already seen. 
As the name suggests, it is a strange feeling that the current situation has happened before. It is an experience in which places seem familiar, although you have visited that place for the first time. But what causes deja vu? One of the prevailing theories suggests that huh? sometimes visual information from one of our eyes is transmitted a little late to the brain. So information from first eye reaches the brain first. Now, when the information from the other eye reaches the brain a little late, oh. our brain receives the same information twice. Hence, the situation or place appears oh. familiar. It appears ah. as if we have seen it already. That is, we experience deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> Why do bees build huh? hexagonal honeycombs? I don't know. Honeybees build honeycombs <laughs> to store honey, pollen, eggs, etc. The honeycombs are built oh. using beeswax, which honeybees produce themselves. However, honeybees produce very less amount of this wax. Hence, oh. honeybees required a shape that would give them maximum storage using oh. minimum beeswax. Now, if each cell of the honeycomb would be a circle, yeah. then there would be a lot of gaps or wasted oh. space between cells. So why didn't honeybees make triangular or square cells? These shapes don't leave any wasted space. Popular research suggests that hexagonal cells use less wax and provide more space as compared to triangles and squares. This means <laughs> honeybees can store more honey while using the least amount of wax. Besides this, the overall structure is much more stable oh. and strong. <laughs> Why does Saturn have rings? Because it has got engaged. No. Scientists don't exactly know why Saturn has rings, but they think that it is related to Roche limit. What is Roche limit? Roche limit is the distance from the planet at which objects in orbit around the planet tend to be ripped apart by the planet's gravitational pull. Now, based on the Roche limit, one of the prevailing theories is that Saturn's rings are remnants of celestial bodies like a <laughs> moon or a comet. Billions of years ago, oh. a celestial body may have got too close to Saturn exceeding the Roche limit. Hence, its side facing the Saturn was pulled more strongly as compared to the side facing away. So, this inconsistent gravitational pull may have ripped apart the celestial body into pieces. Oh. Finally, these pieces may have started revolving <laughs> around Saturn, forming its beautiful rings. <laughs> Why do dogs lick their wounds? Dogs, including animals like cats, chimpanzees, rodents, etc., don't have access to a proper medical treatment. Oh. Hence, a little licking helps to heal and clean the wound. What? But how? When dogs lick, they apply saliva on their wounds. This saliva has antiviral and antibacterial compounds like an enzyme called lysozyme. Lysozyme destroys cell walls of certain bacteria and helps kill them, thus preventing infection. The saliva also <laughs> contains a protein called tissue factor, which promotes blood clotting and thus stops bleeding. Besides this, licking also removes dirt from the wound. So dogs should always lick their wounds. No, excess licking is not beneficial. This is because a dog's saliva can also contain harmful pathogens. They could aggravate the wound and make it more painful. Hence, nowadays, dogs are made to wear an Elizabethan collar to prevent them from licking. Oh. Hmm. Why is yawning contagious? Because everybody wants to sleep. Nah. There are huh? a couple of theories which explain why yawning is contagious. One of them suggests that oh. it is a sign of empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share others' feelings. For example, when people around oh. us are happy and smiling, they make a positive impact on us. <laughs> Hence, we also feel good and begin to smile. Moreover, the closer we are to someone such as our parents or friends, the more likely we are to catch their yawn. Dude, that's awesome! Another theory suggests that mirror neurons present in our brain make us copy or mimic the actions performed by someone else. Hence, when we see people around us yawn, our mirror neurons get activated, thus making oh. us mimic their yawn. We may have evolved huh? such characteristic to promote social bonding. <laughs> Why does our stomach growl? Because there are bears in our stomach! <laughs> nah. Growling sound is produced mostly due to movement of gas in the digestive tract, 
especially in the intestines. Now, gas can either <laughs> enter or be produced in the intestines. But how? When we eat food very quickly, sometimes we swallow gas such as air along with food. Besides this, bacteria in our oh. intestines also produce gases. Now, during <laughs> digestion, the muscles of our intestines contract in order to push food ahead. However, gases also get pushed along with food. Now, as our intestines are hollow tubes, oh. such movement of gases produces growling sounds. Besides this, hunger increases growling. This is because when we are hungry, mm. our digestive system starts preparing for the next meal. Hence, it clears the remains of last meal, causing more muscle oh. contraction, thus producing more growling sounds. 